Are you wondering how to compress video files or convert video files online to another format without the need for downloading? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you a simple way that's both fast and easy using an online video converter. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help entrepreneurs and business owners amplify their business and brand with video. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, if you've got video files or audio files for that matter, that are up in the cloud somewhere and you wanna convert them to another format, then traditionally you'd need to download them to your computer and do it locally using software like Handbrake. It takes time to download the files back to your computer and depending on your internet, it could take a really long time to do that. And then it also takes time or decent hardware to be able to perform the conversion or the transcoding of the files. And after all of that's happened, often you'll have to re-upload the file afterwards, which again is more time. Fortunately, now there's ways to get the whole thing done online and even link to files in places like Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, or even just a URL. So we're gonna run through the process step by step and show you how to convert your video files online and create either smaller, more download friendly versions of your videos or even just convert or transcode them to another file format. First off, let's take a quick look at the advantages and the disadvantages of getting your videos converted or transcoded in the cloud. So starting off with the advantages then, the first one is that the transcoding or the actual converting of a video file is actually really, really fast. I would say in most cases, it's gonna be much, much faster to get your video files transcoded or converted in the cloud rather than downloading them and then using something like Handbrake to convert it and then re-uploading the file back to your cloud file hosting place. It's gonna be much, much faster to do it all in the cloud. There's also no software that's required. So you don't need to download and install anything on your computer and then worry about if it's compatible with Mac or PC or Chrome or Linux. There's no software required as everything is run through your web browser. You also have access to really powerful computer hardware, which is why the transcoding or converting is done so quick much, much faster than if you were using your local computer. Another advantage is that it's actually surprisingly really, really cheap to have your files or your video files converted in the cloud, especially if you're using a service like Cloud Convert. Cloud Convert has a free option, but even its paid options start at around 1.6 cents per minute of video footage. So that's just insane. Gee, it's just started pouring outside. So if you're hearing that, it's what it is. You also get really great integration with other cloud platforms as well. So things like Google Drive, like Dropbox, like Box.net, you literally can just transfer the files between them, have them rendered, have them automatically come back into a particular folder that you want on your cloud hosting platform. So that is just amazing. Now as for the disadvantages of online cloud conversion or cloud video file transcoding, the biggest thing is that your files already need to be in the cloud or you need a decent internet connection to get them there fast. Otherwise, you could probably just get away with queuing the transcodes or the conversions up on your computer and letting them run overnight or waiting it out. So if your files are already up there on the internet or you've got really fast internet connection, then this is gonna be suited for you. And the other disadvantage or thing that you need to be aware of is depending on where you wanna use the files after transcoding or converting them, you actually may need to download them to your computer again. And if you've got slow internet, then that's gonna be a painful process. But where we've said this works really, really well is having the ability to transcode or convert a video file from one format to another or from one quality to another quality online without the need for downloading it, running the conversion and re-uploading it back to your cloud hosting. So right now, our recommendation for online cloud-based file conversion or transcoding is a platform called Cloud Convert. And like I said, they've got pricing options starting at free, which will give you 25 conversion minutes per day, but it does have a one gig maximum file size. There's also prepaid packages with 500 conversion minutes for around $8. And you've also got a monthly subscription option there as well, starting at around $8 per month, giving you 1000 conversion minutes per month. So lots of options. So let's take a look at Cloud Convert and do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how it works. You can see there's a heap of file types supported from audio, CAD documents, documents, eBooks, presentations, spreadsheets, vector images. And if we go to video, you can see here all the different types of video files and video formats that are supported. And yes, all the big ones are in there. 
So to actually convert a file, all you need to do on the main homepage after you've logged in is select your file. And you get to choose if it's from a URL, from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or Box. So for this one, we're gonna choose a file from Google Drive. And here is my Google Drive. So let's go videos, let's pick this video file here and select. This is actually a really short video file. So it should be a quick test here. Once we've got our file in there, we can set what we want to convert it to. So you can see it's an MP4 file. We can choose MP4 again and obviously set our parameters around that file, or we can actually choose other file formats too, like some of the other ones we saw in there. So for this one, we'll leave it as MP4. Let's just go to settings. Now in here, you've actually got some pretty cool options. You can trim down your video. So you can change the start time so that it starts later in your video. So you can trim off the start or you can have it finish earlier so you can trim off the end. You also get to choose your video codec or you can keep it the same without re-encoding it. But I'd say this is where most people are going to wanna to make the biggest change. So let's pick H.264. And then once we pick our video codec, then we can choose all the settings around it. Now the default for most settings in this panel is to leave things as they were. So that way you only need to make changes to the things that you wanna change and everything else will be left as they originally were. So the most important one here, if you're gonna adjust the quality, would be your video constant quality or your bit rate for the video. So it's suggesting 23 as normal quality, but you can lower the quality by picking a lower bit rate. So for this case, we're gonna choose five. Now, as you can see, you also get control over your video aspect ratio. So if it was widescreen and you now wanna make it four by three or one by one, you can squash it or change it in here. You can also adjust the video resolution. So say if you're starting a 1080p video and you wanna to compress to a 720p video, then you can pick that here too. So for our video, let's convert it to a 480p. So we're really dropping the quality on it. And you can also change the video frame rate or the frames per second. And you can also change the rotation or transpose your video here as well. So so you can rotate it if it was around the wrong way or upside down, you can do all of that here too. And likewise with video, you get the same settings around audio. So if you leave it the same, it's going to use the settings from the original file and try and match those, or you can manually specify the quality and the format of your audio as well. You also have the ability to add in subtitles, and if you're feeling really advanced, then you can add some custom FFmpeg commands to your render as well. But for most people, I would say that these are the settings that they're going to be playing with. Once you're done, press OK. And then all you need to do is click Start Conversion. And then up the top here, you can see that that's nearly done. It's done, it's safe to Google, and it is totally done. So if we click on this now, Show File, it's gonna open up our Google Drive. We're still processing on there, but we should still be able to view the file. Let's go back to videos. You can see now that we've got our original and we've also got our newly converted video file there as well. Now, if I delete this video file from here, there's actually another way that you can get your videos converted directly from inside of Google Drive. All you need to do is right click on it and choose open with, and then choose cloud convert. So now you can see Cloud Convert, we've got our original that we just converted there, the green one that's finished, and we've got another file that's queued up, it's actually the same file, it's queued up again, ready for us to specify our settings for that conversion. So if you're working inside of Google Drive a lot, then that can save you a couple of steps to be able to do it straight from within Google Drive. So that's it, that's how easy it is to convert your video files online. And as you saw, it's incredibly cheap to do it. Now in my opinion, this is really suited for someone that already has their video files in the cloud, ready to go to save you downloading them back to your computer, processing them through Handbrake or Media Encoder or any other program, converting them and uploading them back to the cloud. If your files are in there and you want the converted file in there as well, once it's done, then this could be the perfect solution for you. Now, if you do have crazy fast internet and maybe a computer that's not so powerful and would take a long time to do the conversion for you, then this also might be for you. But if your video files aren't already up in the cloud and maybe you've got slow internet, and it's gonna take a long time to get them up there, then this probably won't be the best solution for you to be able to convert your video files. That's where something like Handbrake or Media Encoder or even just general video editing software could do the conversion for you. Now, if you're looking to speed up your video editing process, then check out the video linked on screen now, where we talk through the most efficient process for editing your videos down without any wasted time or rework. And I'll see you soon.